thank you for tuning in to Cosmic Co. Tarot. I am Cosmic Co. A.K.A. Coco. And we are doing the Cancer reading for April 2019. We ain't even gonna talk about what just flew out. <laughs> Anyways, remember that these readings are for entertainment purposes only as well as they are general. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Time is an illusion and energy is fluid. Everything will not apply to everyone. My mind kind of went blank there. <laughs> but yes, let's get into it. Spirit guides, gods and goddesses, source, my higher self. I ask that you deliver any messages that you may have for the Cancer Collective in regards to April 2019. What messages do you have for the Cancer Collective in regards to April 2019, Spirit? I ask that you allow me to be a clear channel and to deliver these messages with confidence and clarity. Allow me to see clearly, speak clearly, hear clearly, think clearly, and feel clearly. What messages do you have for the Cancer Collective in regards to April 2019? What messages do you have for the Cancer Collective in regards to April 2019, Spirit? I was just recording y'all reading. I got halfway through it, and then my mama video called me. But I think it was for the better. So, starting off, we have the Six of Wands. I hate that I threw that in y'all face like that, but that's because I almost dropped the card. The Six of Cups. Okay then. Alright then. What messages do you have for the Cancer Collective Spirit? The Three of Pentacles. What messages do you have for the Cancer Collective in regards to April 2019? The Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. We had two sixes come out together. Now two sevens came out together. We ain't playing Uno over here. What's going on? <laughs> the Emperor. Justice. The Hermit. And the Unknown. I feel some kind of way because the Unknown card came out in my own personal reading and I was a little salty. At the bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. Okay. Um... With the Three of Pentacles being here, um, I feel like, Cancer, you have been working hard to build a foundation in regards to something. You are trying to um, create stability in your life. Laying down the bricks, the foundation, like I said. Working towards a goal. And I feel like this goal is going to be, this work is going to be victorious with the Six of Wands. This is victory. <laughs> I'm sorry. But um, yes, this is victory. You may even gain recognition 
from this with the six of wands and it's crazy because like i said i tried to record the video before and the star card came out you might be in the center of attention in the month of april cancer and i feel like it is because of the work that you are doing um as well as we have the seven of pentacles them fruit the lay the harvest is about to come in the fruit of your labor is about to blossom especially with the emperor that stability is being created. Wishes are being fulfilled. Karma is playing in your favor. Alright, Spirit, I need some further clarification on this Six of Cups, please. Five of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles came out. Along with the Eight of Wands. I don't know why, but I feel like the wait is over. That's kind of what I heard in my head. The wait is over. King of Wands. I don't, I'm getting the wait is over. What is King of Wands, Three of Cups, Page of Pentacles? What's going on? What What was the wait? What were we waiting on? Why was we waiting? What were we waiting for? Like, my ear is itching. <laughs> I'm so confused. <laughs> Let me stop acting. But no, seriously, what I heard was the wait is over. What were we waiting on? I was going to say, because if the chariot pop out, I'm going to know something. Because that's what I heard in my head. Because this five of pentacles is very much giving me, like, once upon a time vibes. Like, she's sitting out in the forest waiting on this chariot to come along. Possibly pick her up. Possibly to save her, almost. Um, but the star in the ace of swords came out. Man, my ears itching. What is... Sometimes it's my nose, sometimes it's my ear. I don't know what's going on. Um, the star and the ace of swords. Like I said, I feel like it's, some of you may be gaining recognition in the month of April. Um, with the star card and the six of wands, victory. You may be blossoming, your business may be growing. Um, and you are becoming the star, literally. Also, this is wish fulfillment for some of you with the star card because I'm seeing like you literally may have wished upon a star for something you manifested something on a full moon um things of that nature and it is going to be a reason to celebrate with the three of cups being here the high priestess she stay at work like, she be busy. She be making shit happen. For real. Like, for real, for real. She be putting in work. And she always shows up in my reading. And then we have the Knight of Swords. Something is coming in quick. Because we have the Eight of Wands. The Knight of Swords. She is going to pop off like that in the month of April for you, Cancer. Like, you for real may feel like you are going, may feel like, because I don't feel like you are at this place of, like, feeling abandoned, feeling left out, feeling less than like a lack I don't think that you feel this way but it's going to seem like this transformation um during the month of April like you gonna go from this to this 
in the matter of a few months, a few weeks. Take it how it resonates. It's like, this is major. Major things, major things. I don't know how I got all of that out of clarifying the Six of Cups. I just heard transformation. Reaching greater potentials. You were once this. A page. And it's funny because the Queen of Cups kept trying to come out, but I never did take it. <laughs> Let me get it together. You are going from this, this little child, the Page of Pentacles, Transforming into that, the Queen of Pentacles. Baby, leveling up, okay? Six of Wands, Star Card, Seven of Pentacles, leveling up, receiving those blessings, those abundant, that abundance, that prosperity that you have worked for. You earned it. You did the work. <laughs> you put forth the effort. You knew that you wanted to do this, that this is something that you wanted to work for. And now we're starting the show. The tower card came out. I feel like that has happened already. We have kind of already gone through this tower card, which is why you are laying foundations, hence the three of pentacles. But um, not necessarily like a true tower card. Tower moment. Well, actually, it kind of will be a tower moment because the blessings and the abundance that you will receive is truly life-changing. And remember that the tower is not always negative. It's not always, oh, I got to start over. It's just a major shift in time. It's like, whoa, this just changed my life. Whoa, I was not expecting this. Wow, that happened quickly. How do I respond to this? How do I deal with this? Please clarify the Seven of Cups. No, I don't want to clarify the Seven of Cups right now. I want to clarify the Hermit card. Why is the Hermit here? We have the Fool. And it's crazy because in I think it was another video. Or it might have been a personal reading that I've done. That I, I kind of feel like. In this deck, the Hermit and the Fool are two sides to the same coin. It's like, okay, I'm going on this journey. I'm taking this leap of faith. And over here, it's like, uh, I really don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. And over here, it's like, man, we finna get it. Like, you kinda, you're kind of, you not necessarily skeptical, but you're hesitant. You're unsure. It's like, I don't know where I'm going. And over here, it's like, baby, we finna jump because I know I can land down there. Over here, it's like, well, I guess I'm going to slide down these rocks. <laughs> like, two sides to the same coin. I'm unsure, and it's like, baby, I know. I'm unsure on what's, on, what's possible, and baby, I know what's possible. I know that I can land. I don't know where I'm landing. Maybe it don't matter, because I know I can do it. <laughs> two sides to the same coin. Same situation, two, energy, two different energies. And then we have the sun. Okay, so y'all got some blessings coming. April is bringing blessings. Not just for you, but for a lot of people too. Nine of Cups flew out. Wish fulfillment. Knight of Wands. And like I said, it's happening quickly. It's going to knock you off your feet. Like I said, I feel like some of you manifested on a full moon, wished upon a star. Because you see she's blowing a daisy or whatever y'all call them. Like make a wish. I feel like that's what some of y'all did. And y'all was not expecting for them to come true. And now it's happening. And you like holding on for dear life. <laughs> holding on for dear life. Seriously. What I just say? Two of Swords. Holding on for dear life. Okay, 
am going to pull some oracle cards. Because I feel like I got a lot going on over here. Are you ready for your blessing? Are you ready for your miracle? Chance to wrap up. I'm unsure on which deck I want to use. I know I want to pull the Universe Has Your Back cards. I'm going to do Wisdom of the Oracle. But I kind of want to do Angels and Ancestors too. I don't know why I want to pull three. I'm only going to take one card from each. That's going to be my limit. Because I'm not going to read all of these. I'm not. I'm sorry. That's what I get. I'm sorry, spirit. <laughs> I said that in the whole shuffle just like went to shit. <laughs> spirit, like you gonna read whatever the fuck I send you. My apologies, I understand. <laughs> Let me quit playing. All right, spirit. wise one grow within your current situation spirit fox trust your talents in changing times <laughs> lady enjoy growth and reap rewards that's all I'm taking that's it Yet I continue shuffling when I notice it. Yep. Alright, alright, alright. Wise one. Knuckle down, be reliable and committed. Be open to wisdom and insights from your el from your elders. The wisdom of the wise one is based upon is based on something that the younger generation is often lacking, commitment and reliability. When this card appears, you are being guided to, con to continue working on your growth and expansion within your current situation. Be committed to your tasks and projects. It can be very easy to get bored or, to get bored or overwhelmed, but persevere. You are being reminded of how it feels to be let down and experience unreliability. And that is not who you were born to be. So keep working on what you're working on. Because it's going to be extremely beneficial for you in the long run. Like I said, I feel like y'all have been laying the foundations. Y'all have been working on something um, that you truly want to be stable. That you truly want to prosper. And it's like, you might not be seeing the rewards right now. But baby, they coming. Don't give up yet. Do not give up yet. Spirit Fox. Stay alert as change is in the air. The energies around you are changing at this time. And although it may not always be comfortable, you are equipped with all that you need to survive this shift. You are being presented with opportunities to reach spaces you've never encountered before. And this can make you feel on edge, but be open to shifts occurring. Because they really are the answers to your prayers. The experience of being hunted or threatened is now behind you. And you are being invited to come out from your den and reveal your glory and talents. Call upon Spirit Fox Medicine to help you be seen for who you are. And trust in your talents in order to be the best you you can be. In changing times. And then lastly we have Lady. Reap what you have sown and enjoy the fruits of your labor. Grow and expand in all areas of your life. Fertility, growth, and abundance are all imminent when the lady arrives in your life. All the seeds you have planted are coming to life and there are more and there are plenty more rewards to come. In a material sense, this card can represent financial financial security and comfort. 
it shows that there will be more en more than enough to go around. If you are if you are making business deals or setting intentions to create financial growth, this card indicates a considerable amount of monetary success. The lady can also usher in other forms of abundance opportunities, marriage proposals, and even the birth of a child. She will help you respect nature and connect with its forces in order to have a genuinely supported journey through life. Like I said, some of y'all been laying the foundations, y'all been working, and the fruit is about to show. And I am going to pull a universe, the universe has your back oracle card. Just one. Please, just one. This one flew out at first before I stated my question, so I put it back. But as you can see, it came back out. So we have my outer my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. Meaning you have done the work internally, so now you are reaping the benefits in the material world. Because you have worked and healed yourself and helped others, possibly, you are now reaping the benefits. My outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. You feel great on the inside, they're going to bless you on the outside. I recognize that I have chosen fear, and I choose again. I choose love. I feel like this goes back to maybe the last reading I did for the Cancer Collective. Like you were scared of your blessings, of the possibilities, um, of what could happen. And it's like, okay, you know what? I ain't got no reason to be scared. I deserve this. This is for me. So, baby, I'm accepting it. I'm loving it. I'm here for it. And lastly, we are going to pull a Wisdom of the Oracle card. Oh, excuse me. message do you have new life flipped over while I was shuffling I put it back what final messages do you have they asked me why I put it back hard-headed sometimes because I feel like I got to do stuff a certain way okay two cards came out because I didn't take the one that they tried to give me I understand y'all ain't got to yell at me y'all know I'm sensitive that's what happens when you don't listen my ears itching again See? that's what happens okay <laughs> we have come to the edge and happy happy 36 and 26 <laughs> joy and contentment a sense of fulfillment a feeling that all is well your desires are effortlessly fulfilled now find joy in the present moment Whatever is happening and be satisfied with things as they are. You're free from the shackles of longing and ability to experience the liberation that comes from actually being happy moment to moment. For you have chosen happiness over yearning for it. 
Now is the time for feeling joy for the sake of joy and experiencing contentment. None of this is because something outside of you. Your happiness is a result of you being at one with spirit's plan for your life. What I say, my outer experiences are a reflection of my internal condition. All is well. The tide is in for now. Enjoy playful splashing in it. This is a time to take pride in your accomplishments. You're doing good work, providing exceptional service, and are well compensated for it. The world rains gratitude upon you, and you're happy with the results of your efforts and creativity. Isn't it amazing to consider all you have done? Remember your partnership with Spirit in this moment, too. Your soul has always known you could accomplish anything if it brought you joy. And then next we have 36. Come to the edge. That's that fool card. Courage. Taking a leap of faith. Overcoming fear and accepting risk. Facing the unknown is the only choice you have right now. It is if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now's the time to take a take a risk that is not calculated. To feel the exhilaration as you ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracles. If ever there was a time for you to take a leap of faith into the unknown, it is now. This is the perfect moment to take a big risk. The unknown is the only choice now. And if you come to the edge, you will discover treasure beyond your wildest dreams. Allow your courage to lead you in spite of your fears. You don't need to know the exact form of what you're going for. The essence is much more powerful and spirit has a way of delivering an even better version of prosperity than you could possibly imagine. Take that step. The results will be amazing. Like I said, y'all got some blessings coming. Some real blessings are on their way and it is because you worked for it. You worked for it. I don't know why, but I want to go look up New Life, the card that I put back. Birth of new ideas, growth, opportunities, a breath of fresh air, life renewing itself. When spring awakens the world, joy and excitement can be felt all around and in your very core. Blossoms burst from trees overnight. Birds return home and sing their glorious song, and nature is full of promise. Miracles beckons on all of us. This is one of those times in your life when new ideas inspire you and new opportunities bring you hope for seeing your dreams come true. All is well in your world and you have the energy you need to feel renewed. Allow your heart to fill with enthusiasm. Let your light shine for this is a time of good fortune. Spring bringing blessings. April is bringing blessings with it, especially for you, Cancer. That is all I have for you today, Cancer. Thank you for tuning in to Cosmic Co. to Row. I am Cosmic Co. Um, don't forget to check the description bar about more information on how to book me for a personal reading, as well as things like my Instagram, Cosmic Co. to Row. Follow me over there. If you have not checked out my pick a card reading that I did, feel free to check that out. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I feel the love. You and Aries are always tie Nick for Nick for the most views, but I think Aries got y'all beat. <laughs> um, but yes, that is it. That's all I have for you today. Cancer, it's all love like beams.